Hey everyone, welcome to my library <laughs> and uh, welcome to Melissa with her hair not blown dried because I was one, too excited to film this video and two, lazy. <laughs> so yes, um, I hope my hair just starts to dry as I film, but I'm on PTO, so I don't really care. <laughs> Anyways, today is a very, very exciting video. Uh, it is a video um, of me just showing you guys what I got for Christmas, bookish items I got for Christmas. If you have sent me books, I am so incredibly grateful. And uh, I also am just so grateful that my family has sent me books and I'm just excited to share you with share with you guys what I got. Uh, also, in light of all of that, um, I am also going to be doing a giveaway. I bought this reading journal from Archer and Olive. It is beautiful. It is um, kind of a beige color and it's got gold sprayed edges and I've already started to use it. Um, please pardon my really, really bad bullet journaling skills. But um, anyways, it's it's really gorgeous. Like it is a gorgeous journal. And I bought it for 2021. Yeah, I got it in the mail. And then literally yesterday, I got another package from Archer and Olive. And I was very confused by it. But they ended up accidentally sending me the same exact journal. Um, yeah, <laughs> they sent me two. I checked my order because I was like, maybe I hit quantity two on accident or something. No, I only paid for one, but um, anyways, so I'm going to give this away. <laughs> so honestly, I'll, I'll, I just wanted to mention this before I get started with the haul because uh, basically the details for the giveaway, pretty simple. I'm going to close it a week after this video is posted and uh, I just want to hear what you guys got for Christmas down below or, um, you know, your favorite book you're ready to read in 2021 or anything. I, I, I'm ready to hear anything. But any comments submitted down below and let me know if you want to be entered in the giveaway for this journal. Um, yeah, make sure you let me know because I'm sure there are, other, are, you know, people that might comment that aren't interested. Yeah, I'm going to be giving this away and I'm so, so excited for whoever gets it. I know with the new year, bullet journaling is so much fun. So I hope you enjoy it as much as I do. And yes, this is gonna be sent your way, hopefully. <laughs> okay, the next thing I got, I bought for myself and it is this friend's journal. I saw it at World Market and needed it. It is Central Perk and it's just white. I also love that. I just love the simplicity of it. And um, yeah, look at these end pages too. Oh my gosh, friends themed. It, it was made for me. It's got like the lobster and it's got the couch and it's got like the door thing that's always on their door. Oh, it is awesome. Um, and then all it is is just lined pages. I mean, really simple. Uh, I am either going to write my book reviews in here or I'm going to write channel stuff like channel notes and everything in here. Um, I have multiple journals going on this year, so I'm trying to figure out what I want to put in what. So that's still to be determined, but I just had to buy it. <laughs> okay, uh, the next thing I was gifted and I am so appreciative. Uh, this is from Tara from Tara North. She is now a really good friend of mine here on BookTube. We are reading, uh, Buddy reading a book and that's kind of how we started our conversation and friendship and then uh, anyways, we decided to gift each other things for Christmas and so she ended up gifting me three things which was too kind honestly I I have blown away that she bought me these three things but one of the things she bought me was this bibliophile readers journal I put it on my list because I used it last year um or this year whatever for 2020 and it is so cool if you guys haven't seen this before I know I showed it off in a vlog one time but First of all, it is beautiful. It is one of the most beautiful journals out there. And then it's made for it's made for readers. So um, yeah, it's got every page has the book title, author, plot notes, character notes, favorite quotes, and then other books to read by this author. Dates read, and then you can put your five star rating out of five on right there. So it's really, really handy for writing reviews. And then um as well, it's just got fun like art 
thrown in there on random pages and it's just awesome like I I love it iconic covers yeah it's so cool um so I'm just so oh look at that book notes pride and prejudice <laughs> anyways oh yeah I own this version too in middle march but yeah, I'm so, so thankful to Tara for this. And I will definitely be using this for 2021. I already filled up 2020s, so I needed a new one. <laughs> okay, um, this is also, I'm going through stationary stuff first, if you guys can't tell. But um, this is the last stationary item. And this is kind of random and whatever. I'm just going to throw it out there. But it's basically, this is a journal I bought for... Um, religious purposes. This is a journal that tracks my scripture reading. It's it's just got, it's cool. It's, it's a way to um, journal your reading through scriptures. So yeah, yeah, this is exciting for 2021. So this is a Mormon uh, devotional journal. Now to the books. I'm so excited. So uh, yes, I am going to start with my historical fiction i decided to break it up into genres because i just i think it'll make the most sense and then you know if you're only interested in one genre i'll put the timestamps down below uh for each of the genres so you can just kind of go in through there but i'm going to start with my historical fiction first and i'm going to start with the book that was gifted to me the two books that were gifted to me by my parents and they are so sweet to have done this for me I am so so grateful um, they got me the Poisonwood Bible by Barbara Kingsolver this has been on my TBR for I don't even know how many years and I've just never bought it for some reason I see it at used bookstores all the time but um, just never gravitated towards it but anyways they saw it on my wish list and my mom has read her before she read Animal Vegetable Miracle and really, really enjoyed it. And so she wanted to buy me this one. And she also was like, I wanted to go all out and I bought you a hardcover and I knew you liked deckled edges. So <laughs> she's so sweet. She knows me so well. I really like paperback as well, but she just wanted to buy the next level. <laughs> but yeah, this is the Poisonwood Bible. I know this is a historical fiction book set in the 50s in um the Congo or something yeah in the Congo in 1959 and it's like a family saga so I I have good feelings about this one you guys will have to let me know if you've read it and if you enjoyed it uh yeah it's I mean it's a beautiful book so the next book my parents got me is White Rose Black Forest by Eowyn Dempsey also a book that I have never bought because it's only I swear it's like only available on Amazon it's one of those books that you can never find in used bookstores and I'm mostly a used bookstore shopper uh, I can never just justify buying a book on Amazon unless it's something I'm just like yes need it right now so random but yeah they ended up buying this for me and I'm so so glad they did uh oh here comes the prime truck that's hilarious it was in books don't worry <laughs> Okay, um, anyways, yeah, so this book I've had on my list because it is a World War II historical fiction book that um, follows a girl, it's December 1943, and it follows a girl who gets trapped and snowed in with a German, um, a German soldier, so she, yeah, it says she, Franca, takes him to her family's isolated cabin, despite her hatred for the regime he represents. Um, so then I think it's kind of like a slow burn romance between the two of them. And then it's also, it says, it turns out that he is not who he seems. So maybe he actually isn't part of the regime. Anyways, it sounds really, really good. And it's super thin actually. So um, yeah, I could easily commit to this book. But yeah, it's it's a beautiful book. I'm so glad my parents got it for me. Okay, so then the last book, or oh my gosh, this is so heavy. This is the last thing my parents gifted me. And um, yes, there's all the there's all the commotion and upheaval happening with JK Rowling right now. And I understand that. And anyways, my parents know how much Harry Potter means to me though, and how much it was a part of my life growing up and how much I still love it, honestly. 
and I haven't, I don't own these, and I just, I wanted them <laughs> so bad, and they ended up finding them at Costco and buying them for me, and so, yes, I have the first three Harry Potter illustrated editions, so excited about these. I flipped through them, and wow, the illustrations by Jim K are honestly amazing, like truly incredible. So yeah, I'm just so happy that I have these now. And honestly, I, I'm still going to enjoy having them on in my library and someday reading them to my kids. So then let's see, here's the rest of my historical fiction and classics. There's one classic in here. So I'll, I'll show the classic next. I bought myself Cranford by Elizabeth Gaskell in the beautiful penguin penguin softbound classic editions that I love. Um, yes, what a beautiful book, right? I have a couple of other of these copies um, in this edition and you know, I featured them on my shelves here and there, but I read Wives and Daughters this past year and it made it onto my favorites list and I just need to read more of her. So when I saw that this was in this edition, I just knew I needed it. And so with some of the Christmas cash I bought, I got from work, I bought this book. <laughs> I justified it that way. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to also be showing some recent purchases that I made um, that I featured on my most recent vlog, but they were kind of part of my Christmas with some of the Christmas cash I, I got from work. So I decided I would show them here just in case you missed that vlog. And one of those books is James Carroll's Supply of Heroes. This is a beautiful cover, by the way. It has a step back, World War I step back. Oh my goodness. Um, but basically I bought this book because of the cover, honestly, and then I read the back and this is a World War I historical fiction book that chronicles a family and the relationships in the family, as well as um, some kind of like rebellious people that are part of like the Irish Re Revolution as well. So um, yeah, I just think it sounds fascinating. And I just, I'm a sucker. I'm a sucker for this cover. I just think it's beautiful. So I bought myself that one. Uh, okay, so then... Yes, I'll show you guys the rest of my um, the books I bought myself because I did buy myself a decent amount of books. Um, the next one from that haul that I've shown already, but I, I'll show it again. <laughs> Leslie Pierce, Remember Me. Um, this is a book about a woman who is a... Um, she, she gets convicted as a felon, even though she's not. It was... Uh, uh, like, I think she stole bread, honestly, something simple like that. Or she steals a silk hat is what it says. So um, she's sent to Australia for that. And this is set in Cornwall in 1786, gets sent to Australia, meets a man there, falls in love. And then um, it's a kind of, of a, it's kind of a survival story is what I uh, understand about it. Um, she ends up having to be sent back to England. And so it's kind of like her trying to um, get back together with the man she fell in love with. And it just says, how far must you go to find love? And so, yeah, I am a sucker for Australian set books as well, if you know anything about me. So when I re read that as well, I just, I knew I had to pick it up. Sorry for changing the angles all the time. I'm trying to avoid the light that keeps coming through my blinds, but it's very difficult. <laughs> Anyways, okay, the next book that I bought myself is For the Roses by Julie Garwood. This is a, um, actually it's like a Western Julie Garwood. Uh, basically what it follows is a girl who gets taken in by four brothers who are like cowboys and it's set in, I think it's set in Montana. Yeah, Bluebell, Montana. So they take her back there and then they raise her and then she ends up falling for an Englishman that comes into town and, um, that kind of wreaks havoc among the family is what I understand. So it sounds amazing. I love Western set books. I know you guys know this about me, but yeah, when I read that and I read that it was a Julie Garwood, I knew I had to buy it. So, and look at this nice profile picture of her on the back. <laughs> but yeah, I, I'm so, so excited about this one. 
Okay, the next book I bought from that little haul is Heart of the West by Penelope Williamson. This is amazing. I am so excited about this book. Basically, what it is about is about this woman who is, um, it's in New England, I believe, and she's kind of fed up with New England life, and she meets this man who's from the West and is immediately, um, you know, entranced, I guess, by him and decides to marry him. And so he goes back to the West with him, and then he, she ends up meeting his brother and realizes that his brother is the one she actually loves. So yeah, it's like a brother's love story, love triangle situation, and I am here for it. It sounds amazing, and look how thick that baby is. I'm so excited. I want to read this so bad. And it's really highly rated on Goodreads as well, so that's exciting. The last book from that haul, I'm going through these rather quickly, but I know it's because some of you have already seen these books. Um, but yeah, the last book from this haul is The Stolen Marriage by Diane Chamberlain. Chamberlain? I'm not sure how to say your last name. But this is a historical fiction book set in 1944. Yeah, and it's about this woman who ends up pregnant and breaking it off with um, who she really loved to be with the man who she got pregnant with, I guess. And ends up marrying him and going back to this small town in Kentucky, I want to say. Is it Kentucky? Um, uh, no, North Carolina. So she ends up going back to North Carolina with him. And it's this small town. And the man that she ends up marrying is super loved in the town. And so, um, and she's not. And so then the tough part is that she is trying to figure out how to love this man who is not everything he was cracked up to be. And then she's also a nurse. And so I think a pandemic hits and she's trying to nurse the people in the town. And then I also think it's like a rekindled second chance romance maybe with the, the person she ended up breaking it off with. So it sounds really good. And look at this cover. It's got like texture to it. Oh, it's so cool. I love it. That's all the books that I um, thrifted from that one vlog. So now we'll go into the actual books I got for Christmas. These are still all the historical fiction books. I'll get into the romances in a second. <laughs> but the next book that I got for Christmas is Wait For Me by Caroline Leach. So this is a World War II fiction book. It's 1945 and Lorna Anderson's life on her father's farm in Scotland consists of endless chores and, and rationing, knitting Red Cross scarves and praying for an allied victory. So when Paul Vogel, a German prisoner of war, is assigned as the new farmhand, Lorna is appalled. And then obviously I think it's like a, a slow burn enemies to lovers romance kind of deal. I just think it sounds awesome. You're going to see a theme with these books that I bought for the historical fiction books. Uh, I bought all the books that I can't seem to find anywhere in used bookstores that are historical fiction, World War II mostly, and have to do with like star-crossed lovers. I just, that was what I was going with and I wanted to buy all of the books. <laughs> so yeah, this is one of those types of books and it sounds amazing and it's really highly rated on Goodreads. So uh, yeah, I am excited about this one and it's actually a YA book. So hey, look at me branching out. <laughs> okay, uh, here's the next book and you're gonna see a theme, like I said. The next book is The Soldier's Girl by Sharon Mass. Um, and it says, a gripping, heartbreaking World War II historical novel. And then it says, an English nurse, a German soldier, a tragic love affair. <laughs> this is what I want to read in 2021. All of these types of books. It just sounds so good. Um, so yeah, it's about a nurse and a German soldier. Oh, by the way, okay, now that the dogs are in the shot, they got new collars for Christmas. So this is Lily and she's obsessed with tennis balls and fetch. So yeah, we got her this tennis ball collar. I think it's awesome. <laughs> okay, Lily. Here is another very, very highly anticipated book for me. And it's Making Faces by Amy Harmon. 
Yes, another Amy Harmon book. I, I bought multiple books of hers for Christmas because I already know she's gonna be a new favorite author of mine. And actually my mother-in-law ended up reading this book recently and telling me it was amazing. It was so good. Um, it's a Beauty and the Beast retelling from what I understand. And uh, it's about, let's see, Ambrose Young was beautiful, but maybe because he was so beautiful, he was never someone Fern thought she could have until he wasn't beautiful anymore. So yeah, and I think it's actually a YA book, but my mother-in-law said that even though it's like classified as YA, um, it's pretty mature. So she said it like it's not, um, yeah, it's not like YA YA, if that makes sense. But yeah, I'm really excited about this one. I also know that Carrie from Book for Romance loves this book. So I had to buy it. Uh, I'll show the other Amy Harmon book that is going to be obvious why I bought it. But it is from Sand and Ash. I finally got it. Uh, yes, it came in the mail. So excited. I've talked and talked about this book endlessly, I feel like. But basically, this is a World War II historical set fiction book where um it's about a uh like friendship or um childhood friends to lovers type of situation between a girl and a boy who ends up becoming a catholic priest and she's jewish so there's a lot of things going against them <laughs> um but it sounds amazing and it is so highly rated so i'm so excited about this one I'm reading this with Mar in March with uh, a ton of people from my channel in our Discord Buddy Reads group down below. I will have it linked. Please come join us to read this book. I would love to have you join me. And yeah, we will be starting this March 1st. So very, very excited about this one. So another book that I bought myself that I've had on my list for forever and I just finally committed to buying it <laughs> after I got some Christmas cash is... The V Girl by Maya Roberts. It says, a coming of age story. This is so highly rated on Goodreads and it's actually an indie pubbed book. Basically what this story is, is it follows a girl who whose name is Lila, who is, it's post-apocalyptic North America and she knows that she is going to be forced to lose her virginity um, when the troops visit her town. So then she decides to take it into her own hands. It's kind of like a dark romance from what it sounds like, like post-apocalyptic apocalyptic dark romance maybe. But um, she ends up uh, befriending a man who's like broody and uh, foreign broody man who she distrusts because of his links to the troops and his rough yet irresistible appearance. He offers Lila an alternative to her plans, a possibility that terrifies her and tempts her in spite of herself. So I'm not too sure like how this book is gonna go down, but um, it just sounds fascinating and like the post-apocalyptic, I can't say that word, post-apocalyptic element of it. Um, it just, it sounds really fascinating. So yeah, I had to pick this up. A book I got gifted by my sister-in-law, and she's so sweet to have bought this for me, is Ask Again Yes by Mary Beth Keen. Um, I have had this on my list for a while. Uh, it's a contemporary book, and it was very, very talked about, I think at the beginning of the year, quite honestly, maybe even like last year. But um, from what I know about this book, it's, a, it's about two families who uh, kind of grow up together and then um, something happens that kind of like tears them apart and their loyalties are divided. And so um, it's also about like uh, two people in the, from, you know, each of the families that fall in love or something, but I don't think that's a huge element of it. Anyways, uh, yeah, it's a contemporary book. It kind of reminds me of um, Little Fires Everywhere, honestly. I, I don't know. If you've read this book, please let me know if you enjoyed it and, uh, you know, what the plot is kind of really about, what, what the genre really is, because I think it's more like literary fiction or contemporary. I'm not really sure. So, yeah, I, I'm fascinated by this book, um, and I'm just so grateful she, that she got it for me. <laughs> So now we're on to the romances. I'm so excited. Oh my goodness. I I honestly, these books are awesome. <laughs> um, 
Okay, so I think I'm gonna start with the books that I got gifted because honestly, just wow. I'm just so, so grateful. Uh, but anyways, I'll start with the books that Tara from Tara North gifted me so kindly. I'm so, so grateful to her. The first book is one that has been talked about a lot recently, basically by Jen and Crystal, and that is A Heart of Blood and Ashes by Mila Levain. Yes, I have my hands on this book now. Um, this was recommended to me actually by Jen in a video she made about star-crossed enemies to lovers that she dedicated to me. And so yeah, I'm even more eager to read this book. It's a fantasy romance and it's heavy on both the fantasy and the romance from what I've been told. So I really love an epic fantasy. Like if I can really get immersed in a world, that's my favorite thing. So uh, yeah, I'm really excited about this one. I need some people to read this with me. So if you're interested, please let me know. I would love to buddy read it. I know me and Taro will most likely buddy read it together, but we'd love to have some people join us in on it. The next one is another fantasy romance that Tara got me. And that is The Winter King by C.L. Wilson. This has been on my list for honestly quite a long time. Ever since I heard Jen talk about it, I don't even know how long ago, um, but yeah, I am so excited about this one. I really want to get into maybe some more fantasy romance next year and just kind of dip my toes into exploring both of the, those genres mixed together. I just think it's fascinating. And this cover is awesome, by the way. I just think it's so great. So yeah, very, very excited about this book. And then, okay, here are two books that I was gifted by Nadia. Oh my goodness. So she sent me books all the way from Belgium and she sent Belgian chocolate with it. And it was just a treat to open it on Christmas. Like truly, truly, it was so fun. And I'm so, so grateful to her and for going to the lengths she did to get me these books. <laughs> um, but yeah, so she bought me two Lisa Claypiss books, both from the Ravenel's series. So the first book is uh, Marrying Winterborn by Lisa Claypiss. Um, this is number two. I own number one. What is that one called? Uh, oh yeah, uh, Cold Hearted Rake. I own number one, but yeah, she got me number two and uh, she, sa she said this is her favorite. I think she said this is her favorite Lisa Claypiss series and then I needed to own them all. So she's trying to start my collection, <laughs> but yeah, so love that. And then she also got me number four in the series. This one is called Hello Stranger and it has a step back. I love the black dress in this in this step back. It's glorious. I love a black dress. Like I know Jen was saying she also loves black dresses and I am I'm totally a sucker for one. I just think it's so good. Um but yeah, uh Nadia got me this book because it features a doctor heroine and I love doctor heroes or heroines in books. I don't know why. It's just one of those random things that is like a niche taste for me. So she wanted to gift me this one and I am so excited. So yeah, this is another Lisa Claypiss series that I need to start and try and I'm so excited about it. So yeah, okay. So the next books are books that I got gifted by my husband. <laughs> um, so the story behind this is we went to Books on 7th Avenue. I vlogged that. Um, it was so fun. It's a very, very famous bookstore right now for their eBay mystery boxes for historical romances. They have a huge selection of historical romances. So anyways, I went to that bookstore, found amazing books, but I wanted to limit myself to $30. So I bought the books I wanted, really, really wanted for $30 and then um, had to sadly part with some of them that were, you know, I pulled them out and then had to decide. But my husband remembered, he's so cute. He remembered the books that I had to put aside and went back and bought them for me for Christmas. So yeah, I mean, isn't that so sweet? I just, what a good guy, what a keeper. But okay, I will show you guys the books. Um, the first book is 
uh, A Rake's Vow by Stephanie Lawrence and Devil's Bride. This is a com like combined edition of the two. So um, this is, what is this series called? I literally just forgot it. Oh yeah, this is the Sinsters series. So uh, I have yet to read this series and I really, really want to. I know Jessen um, loves this series and is always talking about it. And so, yeah, I just, I really want to get involved in it. It's a Highlander, is it Highlander? Yeah, it's like a Highlander romances and it follows a it kind of sounds like the Bridgertons but like Highlander themed so you know it follows different people in the family each book and it's huge too I mean you know it's two books in one but I I'm still excited about having a big book <laughs> okay the next three are everything they are so cool I'm so excited to show you guys this one is Southern Rapture by Jennifer Blake so I pulled this out because of the title and because of this cover like hello so what this book is about so i'm not gonna lie the plot of this book sounds crazy <laughs> um i mean i'm really intrigued it's about a yankee woman who's a school teacher who ends up um staying at this like bed and breakfast in the south that is owned by a confederate soldier or something this guy and um, he fakes that like he needs help being educated or something and then ends up ravishing her one night. Um, I don't even know. <laughs> so yeah, it's like Civil War set, I guess. So uh, that's what, I mean, that's really intriguing to me. But um, yeah, it sounds wild. I need to look up on Goodreads what this is rated because I mean, maybe it's really good, who knows? I can't remember from all the way back when I was looking at these books what it's rated, but the cover is everything. It's so cool and it wraps around. I love it. Okay, um, the next two, the next one is All the Sweet Tomorrows by Beatrice Small. I also grabbed this because of the cover and also because of the size. Like this is an oversized paperback and it's a romance. Isn't that so cool? Um, so this is a, the second one in a series. So there's that. But I actually bought the first one. Don't, don't tell my husband. But I bought the first one on eBay after he bought the second one for me because this series sounds amazing. It's the Sky O'Malley series. And I'll show this cover off because wow. But it's set in medieval times, and I think it's like it follows a woman who, uh, it's just her life. Like, I know it's a romance, but I think it's always like, it's like chronicles over time or something. So anyways, I just love this cover. It is prime. So, so good. Okay, the third book that my husband got me, no, fourth book that my husband got me, and I literally love it the secret by julie garwood in the hardback oh my gosh so exciting um yeah so he ended up buying this book i i actually ended up buying this book on um on amazon but it was not in the edition i wanted it was in the normal the secret edition you know the more modern one so I sent it back and I was kind of really sad about it because I was like, gosh dang it, I should have just bought that book uh, when I was there at Books and 7th. But he did it. <laughs> he went back and bought it for me. Um, so yeah, so excited about this one. So now I have two Julie Garwoods on my shelf. I'm so excited about both of them. Obviously, this is a book that everyone loves and everyone talks about and it is so, so well loved on BookTube. So I know I'm gonna love it. And uh, yeah, it's a Highlander romance, I believe and it's gonna be great <laughs> so the last how many books do i have left six books are all books i gifted myself <laughs> but uh yeah let's just go for it so the first three are part of a series and this is books that have been recommended to me a lot on youtube because of my tastes in civil war historical books and it's romance and the step backs are amazing so all three I, it's, it's a recipe for success. So the first one is, it, the first one in the series is One War Blue by Heather Graham. Um, I mean, these books have seen better days, but I'm just so excited that they all have step backs, honestly. Um, so this is a, I mean, what is this trilogy called? I think it's just called the Civil War Trilogy, 
but look at this step back. It is awesome. Oh my goodness. Me and um, Kayla from On the Fritz both have these books and are both obsessed with them. So I'm excited to tell her if I end up reading it, you know, if it's actually really good because the covers are amazing. But this was said, this says he was a traitor to her cause, a traitor to her love, but the battle would be fought against her own yearning heart. <laughs> so I think it's um, a story of a uh, union officer and a Southern belle from what I understand. So yeah, amazing. The second book is called One War and One War Gray. And this is the step back another beautiful step back so so gorgeous so obviously he's a confederate soldier and i think she's the northern girl so it's kind of a flip that way love it and then the third book is called and one road west and this is the step back look at the buffalo isn't that so random i think it's awesome though um, so yeah, I, I, I'm not sure how this one like links in with all of it, but it sounds like it's a Yankee officer that ends up going West after, after the war. And then, um, you know, she ends up going with him or something. So yeah, this, this series guys, this series needs to happen in 2021. Oh my goodness. I'm so excited about having these three. Okay. So we're down to the last three books that I got. Oh my gosh, this has been the longest haul and probably the biggest haul I'll ever post. <laughs> um, maybe until next Christmas, who knows? But yeah, so the next book I bought with some of the Christmas cash I got from work, Magic Shifts by Ilona Andrews. This is part of the Kate Daniel series. This is the next one I need to read. It's number eight, I believe. I love them. I think they're so, so cool. Um, they're an urban fantasy, like paranormal romance book uh, about a girl who is a mercenary. Her name is Kate. She is bad A. She's awesome. And her romance with Curran, who is a lion shifter, um, and them fighting and battling through all of the the uh i mean it's you know it's just an urban fantasy group book that is amazing it's it's great i love it so i'm excited to read the next one i bought this book solely for the cover i've talked about it before and i am so stoked that i got it in the mail texas proud by constance o'banion look at this cover just look at it <laughs> So basically, it's like this girl barely holding up her shirt. She's holding a gun and the guy is basically naked in the water. Like, hello? What is happening with this scene? Um, yeah, it sounds amazing. And it says, a love-hate relationship. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, I'm excited about this one. Anything that has Texas in the title too, I'm like, I'm sold. So uh, yeah, had to buy this one. I bought this on Mercari for six bucks. Okay, we're down to the last book. It is Career of Evil by Robert Galbraith. I got this used, um, but yeah, this is the third book in the Cormoran Strike series. And I wanted the movie tie-in edition because I've started to watch the series and love it. So I want to get the other two in this edition. I just think they're so, so cool. So yeah, I'm excited about this one. And it's big too. So it's going to be great. But guys, oh my gosh, I'll show you. I mean, they're all right here. So many books. So crazy but yeah that, those were all the books for christmas that i got i'm so so grateful to you um nadia and tara for sending me books seriously thank you so much um and yes please comment down below how to get a hold of you if you would like the archer and olive bullet journal and um you know just say anything you want down there but i will enter you in the giveaway for it and with all that being said Please like and comment. I reply to every single comment. And please subscribe if you want to see more from me. And I will see you guys in another video. Bye!